All right. Next up, we have Whitebeard, one of my absolute favorite characters in this game. He is a real powerhouse. I think he's one of the top five best characters in the game. And one of the best things about Whitebeard is that all of his attacks have amazing combo and crowd control potential. Pretty much every time you're pressing a button, you're you're getting a lot of reward for doing so. Alright, so first I'm gonna go over the move set and then I'll talk about some setups. The square string. The square string has a lot of area. As you can see it hits it hits enemies all around him, so it's a very good crowd control tool on its own. Very good crowd control and combo. Next is square triangle triangle triangle, his launcher string. This is a really good move. It will vacuum a lot of enemies into the air. With a knockback finisher. Now if you notice on the first hit, he sends out a shockwave. That shockwave has some crowd control element. So it'll kind of hit enemies in the distance while he's comboing enemies up close with the rest of the move. Let me try to get of a better showcase of that. So you see, basically the enemies he hits with his weapon will launch into the air and all the other enemies in the back will get caught up in the shockwave. Really good move. Also good to cancel early. Okay, now square, square, triangle, triangle, triangle. This is probably one of his best moves. This creates a cyclone where he vacuums in a ton of enemies for a long multi-hit combo. A lot of damage, a lot of crowd control. One of his best moves. Let's see, crazy hitbox. And it does really good damage too. Next up, square, 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 triangle. This is a pretty fast, hard-hitting attack with some area effect in front of him. This is just when you want to have some really quick, hard-hitting attacks. And it's, as you see right there, if you line the enemies up, it can it can clear a whole room pretty easily. Really good move for him. I get rid of this guy. Okay, now we have square, 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 square triangle. Another hard-hitting move. It has a charged version. The uncharged version is... Pretty easy to combo after. You can dash cancel it pretty easily to get a combo follow-up. It also has some solid crowd control. Not as much as some of his other moves, but it has some crowd control. Now his charged version... Let me show it real quick. He'll send shockwaves both front and back, and this move deals a ton of damage. Dun ton of crowd control, ton of damage. Really good move. But you're not really going to want to charge it. There's one thing about uh, Whitebeard is that when he goes into his Kazuna Rush mode, or known as, as Style mode in Pirate Warriors 2, uh, his attacks will all have max charge effect. So that's when you really want to take advantage of it. You can still charge it. It's, otherwise, you may want to equip the quick charge ability on him to charge it up quicker. But mostly, I don't charge it unless I'm in Kazuna Rush mode. Okay, now the triangle strings. Triangle, triangle, triangle. Really strong crowd control and combo tool. And he sends shockwaves out on each of the slashes. Really strong move for him. As you can see, he has a ton of crowd control. Alright, now triangle, square, square, square. This is a command grab. So you can see when he slams them into the ground, you have some crowd control into that. Uh, really strong single hitting move. Now let's find some more enemies. Okay, now we have triangle, triangle, square. Let's 
you can see a, a really interesting combo and crowd mix of comboing and crowd controlling now this move is one that i will introduce a sort of universal technique it's not really universal but it's something that a lot of characters can take advantage of um maybe you don't want to finish the whole square string but you want to like combo after it but hold on get rid of this guy okay so let's say i do triangle triangle square and then he has this part where he tosses rocks that's a good part to follow up but let's say if i dash after it and i try to go into a square string i'm gonna get that finisher but i don't want that finisher if you want to bypass that finisher what you can do is do r1 and dash r1 if you da when you do r1 that resets your chain so what i can do is triangle triangle and then during the rock toss i do r1 and dash and then i can go into my square string so i can avoid getting that finisher that i don't want so you see right here i'm dashing and i'm getting that finisher but if you do r1 and dash it will reset your string and you can do that on any move not just that move but that's one move where i felt it was a good idea to bring that technique up because that's one move that I cancel early a lot. I don't always go for that finisher unless I know I'm going to kill a boss with it or something. Or if I'm not really trying to do a co juggle combo. Okay, now let's talk about his R1. His R1 is a ridiculous move. Very hard hitting move with some crowd control. And he has a charged up version of it. Even stronger move with more crowd control. Now, the best thing about this move is you can kind of tack it at the end of all of his strings for easy follow-ups and additional damage, and the move can even loop into itself against bosses. You could just juggle a boss endlessly by repeating that move with dash cancels. So first, let me just kind of show some examples. So you can like cancel into it from there, do like dash cancel, and do that can do like square 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 and then you do r1 just just tack r1 onto everything you do and it's a really strong option and let me just show like you can combo into itself so you see that you can just keep that going really good r1 for him i a lot of times you're just gonna see me using it after the end of all of his combos because it's a very easy way to, for him to get a guaranteed follow-up and also when you do it like let's say you do it on this string right here normally this will knock enemies back but if you do if you do it it'll negate the knockback effect it's, it's really interesting let me try to show it off real quick Hard, hard to see. It, it'd be easier to see against the boss. Let me try to see if I can find the boss to showcase it on. Uh, before I go to this boss, let me just kind of show some setup, just in case I kill the boss. So you see right there, when I did the R1, it stopped him from going back. He stayed in place. So it's really interesting. I'm not sure what exactly causes that, but there's some interesting momentum cancel involved in that. Okay, now for setups, I've already been kind of showing some setups, but you can kind of just do stuff like square, triangle, 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 R1, dash, square, triangle, 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 R1, dash, square, 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 triangle, and you can just mix this up. Put an R1, not so much that move. That's one move that you're not really going to be able to follow up after unless you're in the corner. We can do like this, we can do our ones, dash cancel. Oh, let me show his specials. Almost forgot his specials, sorry about that. So special level one. Really good combo and crowd control move. And then special two. Extremely powerful move. One of the best specials in the game. Has really good crowd control and combo. You can combo after it. It launches the enemies in the air, which you can combo them. 
coming back down. Really strong special. One of the top, say, top three specials in the game. Okay, so back to setups. Let me try to do a command grab setup. As you can see, it's pretty easy to link all his moves together. Say with like command grab. Oh, I don't have, I didn't have my level two. But normally what I do after his command grab is I will do level two special to pop the enemy back in the air. And then you can go into another follow up from there. All right, so let me just go to the boss real quick and just kind of show off some stuff. <laughs> He's dying way too fast to really turn anything up. But you see, I'm I can abuse that R1. So that's pretty much it. Whitebeard is incredibly strong, incredibly hard hitting, great combos, great crowd control. Uh, after most of his, you can go into R1 and then dash cancel to keep the combo going. Or you can just go for a lot of that hard hitting damage. You don't really have to do a lot of comboing with him because he's going to kill stuff so fast. But he's a really great character in all regards. Definitely one of the best in the game and I think he... Just got some overall nice buffs in this game. He just got like some better hitboxes, better damage all around. Great improvements and a really strong character. So if you guys have any questions, just leave a comment.